Hey Grimway gang, welcome back to the Grimway family channel. I hope you're well. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna be having a little discussion, a little girly time with the girls, talking about why sisters are the best and how I'm sure they couldn't do without each other. And they're gonna be really excited, I think especially the younger ones, because we've got them a massive delivery of little live pets. And I'm just gonna be showing them how to play with the toys and showing it to you too, Grimway gang, so make sure you stick around. So guys, the girls are literally outside their bedroom door and I've got this surprise here for them. I mean, there's so many toys here. They're gonna be super excited. I'm gonna call the girls in. Girls, can you come in your room a minute, please? Hello, look, I've got a surprise down here for you. Do you know what it is? Have you seen anything like this before? No, no but it looks like, pets. yeah, little life pets. You, you can see it's what it says. <laughs> yes, do you like the look of it? Yeah. Does it look like something that's going to be fun? Yeah. I think it does because of all the colours and how bright it all this, is. This turtle is really cute. Yeah, it's very, very cute. Is this cute? What have you got? It almost matches your um, tutu, all the lovely colours, Houston. Um, so these are the little life pets, but I need to show you like how we use them because there's something really special that they do, okay? okay. But I think it may take a little while, I'm not sure. So we're going to get them out of the packaging and I'll show you how we use it all, okay? Does that sound like good, Houston? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> She's going off. She's gone off with her toy already. Lovely. Mama Surprise takes caring for your pet to a whole new level. This soft interactive mama guinea pig comes with a deluxe interactive hutch. Care for mama by feeding her and brushing her long beautiful hair with the accessories provided. With enough love and attention, mama's heart will start to glow, indicating that a baby is on the way. Gently place her inside her interactive hutch. Now it's time to wait. After 10 minutes, you'll discover a newborn guinea pig baby and a special care package. Care for mama again and she'll be ready to go back in the hutch. Leave her overnight, approximately 10 hours. And in the morning, you will find new guinea pig babies to complete your adorable guinea pig family. There are three adorable babies to discover, each with their own care package that includes a birth certificate, two accessories and two hair elastics. Dress and style up the babies into three cute looks, rock and roll, preppy and princess babies. This magical experience is repeatable, so you can go through the surprise and delight of caring for mama and discovering her babies again and again. So guys, we have got one of the um, little live pets Mama surprise guinea pig toys out. There you go. Um, and to be honest, Hallie has been playing with it and kind of showing me <laughs> how it. it works. But um, yeah, so we've also got Houston. What one have you got? She's got the little bird. Does it make noises? It does, doesn't it? Yeah, you can press here and her, also her wings will um, light up and whatnot. So maybe Hosanna can open it up for you. Would that be good? Okay, and what have you got the bird as well? Yeah, the little bird, yes. Do you like it? Yeah. You're gonna open it. Okay, cool, right, let's go through this, shall we? Okay, Hallie, right, so we are ready. Can you show us how it goes? So we've got the cage. You're gonna take it out. You're gonna have brush and Lettuce. So she's meant to come to life like a real guinea pig with okay. like 20 sounds of reaction. So we should be hearing something at some point. It says, feed her, brush her, love her. Ah, so you're feeding her. Oh, she's making she all the noises. She likes her food. Nice. And now I think that should be enough. Oh, enough she just food. burped. <laughs> and now we're going to brush her. We're going to brush her very nicely. That's so lovely. Does she feel like a real guinea pig? And then it says you have to then love her. Okay, right. We're gonna. Oh, she loves it. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that is so awesome. So if you just keep stroking her head, she's like reacting and just loving all the love that we're giving her. Yeah. Oh, so if we do that for a little while, maybe there'll be another stage. <gasps> Look! She, her heart goes. Her heart starts glowing and she's ready to be placed inside her heart. So apparently something might happen. So we put her in here. Back into her heart. And then when it stops glowing. Oh look, the hutch light is on as well. So when Back. it stops glowing and she stops glowing and the hutch light turns off, there's going to be an amazing surprise. Houston, do you want to come and see the guinea pig? Look, she's in her heart. <gasps> she's making noises. 
the light's glowing and the light on the hutch is glowing as well. She's so cute. Yeah, she is, isn't she? And here. you've got your little bird in the meantime. Little bird, oh, she's so pretty. Look. <gasps> Houston, say something to her. Say something. You have to talk to her. They're talking back. They're saying what we were saying. Oh, our mama guinea pig is down here and she's glowing and she is. She, her heart is still glowing and her heart is still glowing. So I feel like, do you think she's ready or, or not at the moment? Uh, not yet. Not no. Not yet. So there, we have to wait for her for a little bit. Yeah. It could take 10 minutes, I reckon. So maybe if we can talk yeah. for a bit after 10 minutes, maybe she, or if we wait a sec and we come back to the Greenway gang, yeah, yeah. and then hopefully yeah, she me. will have a surprise yeah. for you guys. Yes. Hopefully she'll have a lovely surprise for you. Yeah, yes. You've got me on my knee. Is the birdie getting me on my knee? There you yeah. go. Um, so, Grimway Gang, whilst we're waiting for the mama guinea pig to give a surprise, I have to wait to see what the surprise is. Um, I thought I'd talk to you girls about your sisters, about you guys. Obviously, we're missing one sister at the minute. Halo is downstairs. Halo's had her nap and she um, has had her milk and she's downstairs chillaxing with the boys because she just wanted to get into everything. You see, there's so much fun stuff here. She wanted to be in all of it and obviously. She's talking, she's talking like saying what I'm saying. She obviously records what I'm saying and then repeats it back. But yeah, we can have Halo up here because she was trying to get into everything. Houston, how much do you love Halo? Yeah, all day. You love her too all day. Is that right? You love her all day, the most. Is she your best, well, can I say she your best sister? She's the little one. The little one always gets to be the best one, right? Do you think that is true? I can see your finger. I think the little sister, oh, that's very, very loud. I feel like the little sister always gets kind of like all the love, showered with all the love. So Halo gets so much love from her sister, so we can, she, we can say she's the best sister. But girls, when it comes to siblings, do you think sisters are the best? Yes, my sisters are my best friend in the whole world. And if I didn't have them, like, I wouldn't be here in life and like, I don't know what I'd do. Well, you probably, you would be here no, still. No, I, I mean like in this place. Okay, okay. I cause... would be here on Obviously, Earth, yeah. But... Um, I wouldn't be like in the place I am in. So you feel like your sisters have helped spur you on to become yeah, a better person? Definitely. Okay, and what do you love about your sisters? You can go through them one by one. So Hallie, she's just, she's always like bringing some like light into the room with her smile or her laughter. Houston is just a cheeky cheeky girl. That's you! you. <laughs> um, Harper, she's very, she's sweet and she's a bit more collected than Hallie. Not, okay. Not collected, but like a bit. She's, she's not actually, quite as rambunctious she, as Hallie. Yeah, she she wasn't actually, but now she is actually trying, kind of um, growing into that. So okay. yeah. And Halo is the baby sister and I just love her. Okay, lovely, Thank lovely. You. And what about you, Hallie Bally? What do you think about your sisters and why they're the best? Um, like, I'm going to start with her exam because like, she was there and then like, she, I don't think she was in the room when I was born, but she was, was she there? Well, I think she was in the room up until I was about to push. And then I think Hezzy and Hosanna both wanted to have um, a snack. So grandma took them to go and get some crisps. So oh. he was actually eating crisps. Yeah, I remember that, walking around with ready salt crisps. Yes, in the hospital. Well, um, she's, she's been, she's been beside, my, beside me throughout everything. Yes. And like- Your I just, whole life. Yeah, my whole life, cause she's older than me. So I was born after. Mm -hmm. And like, I just love her. Cause like, if I need someone to talk to, I can talk to her. And I can talk to my parents and everybody, but I, I like to come to Hosanna a lot. Yeah, because you two like to sit up at night time. Well, I don't know if you're sitting up or laying down in your beds, and we just hear you talking, talking, yeah, talking. Even though you're talking. together all day, like pretty much every day. So we always have something to catch up about. Like yeah, in the night time, which I think is so sweet. Like, so between me and my sister, there's like, well, I've got two younger sisters, but between me and the next one, there's like six years. And up until I was about, oh gosh, up until I was about, I want to say 12. We were in a house where we were sharing a room and we was, I feel like it was probably close. I like when we shared the same room and whatnot and then we moved to a bigger house where I got my own room and I actually used to write letters to my little sister and I'd like put them under her door, under her 
pillow just to be like as much you know maybe we weren't getting that time together in the in the night to like chat away like i just wanted her to always know that i was there for her and that i wanted to be her best friend um i feel like we're probably slight we're more similar now but i feel like growing up we were quite different personalities but i think you know having sisters is lovely because you've always got somebody that you can rely on um and i feel like obviously you're you're, you're related by blood aren't you so of course you're gonna argue of course there'll be times when maybe you don't um see eye to eye Are you guys okay is it all really <laughs> i think the box is all it's fine as long as you can get them out and maybe times where you can't quite see eye to eye all the time but they're your sisters aren't they just like when i was talking about family the other day oh have you got something to show mummy oh this is so pretty is the fish, fish. The you put the fish in the water we yeah. can talk through what they do in two seconds so as much as you don't always see eye to eye i feel like you know having a sister is someone who you can rely on and also someone that you can bounce your ideas off and someone who you can argue with but they know that we're sisters so we're never gonna like literally fall apart so yeah i mean i think it's great to keep up your sisterly friendship yeah, papa yeah. you've got to go over there and the yeah, tail is wagging but you come and talk to me about what you feel about sisters it's not going maybe there's a switch there's probably a switch that we need to switch in order to make it go maybe hosanna can work it out because i'm not very i'm not the greatest at working this way look he's give it to me i'll do did it did you let's show us what your one does Mine, look, um, oh, you have to hold the buttons in there. Oh, look, there you go. And the tail wag. You just did it. How does it go? Go on, you press it again. It's the two little black buttons. You have to look, hold them and it will go. You did it just now. I heard it move. It needs to go like that. You press it just like half a so half. Just like that, you're showing your little sister, for example, how yeah. to use the toy. And do you feel like, because obviously you and Harper and Taylor eventually are all going to share. Oh, you, did, you did it. You keep doing it when we're not watching you. Do it again. Can you do it? Press them both. There you go. You did it! Is it good? Yeah. So just like how you were just showing yeah. Houston how to use the toy, obviously in this room you're going to be the biggest sister yeah. in this room. And how do you feel about your being the biggest sister in this room and looking after your little sisters? Well, I feel like I'm getting like more mature. Okay. Yes. And I love the way he, me and Houston do the same thing. We just sit on our beds, like just talking to each other. Oh, at night time as well. Yeah. Well, it was so cute the other night. How did Mummy and Daddy find you when went asleep and we came up to the bed? You in Houston. You weren't in your bed, were you? Oh um, no, I was hugging Houston. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she was cuddling. But up. she started crying in the middle of the night, and I was like, Oh, Houston, do you want mommy? Then she just kind of went back to sleep, to and sleep. I put cover over her, and then Aww. I got under the cover and sleep. Which I, I think is just I the sweetest thing. Oh, Oh, did you fall out of your bed? Yeah. Oh no. I but we do tend to put the bed. cushions all down by the bed. But that's even happened to mummy, even as a big person. But yeah, don't worry, you'll be fine. You, I've, I think I've. Look, this like one, one is easier. So, back to what I was saying yeah. to, to Harper. Oh, I'm getting fishes put in my face and everything. Yeah. Basically, like the other day, we, we they went to bed and then, as you could hear, Houston um, had woken up halfway through the... It wasn't actually the night time when Mom. I was still downstairs. Through the yeah, evening. That one. You got that one working? Good. They're supposed to go in water, I think, aren't they? Yeah, they're supposed to um, go in. But basically, yeah, Harper like was this. huddled into the bed, like, with I'm Houston. So it was warm. just so sweet, like, to see the two of them together. Yeah, it's working um, now, it's Mom. working now, yeah. Look, this well, is do you know what? I think they're actually them. more interested in the toy. So let me go back to explain no, how the toys it. work. You're still in it, are you? Yep. Let's go um, back to explain how the toys work. Two seconds. So, Hallie, I think it's only correct if we I'm show the Grimway gang. Yeah. You've got one down there, that's fine. Mm. Which, what? what all the toys are, yeah. yeah. So we've got, first of all, we have got little little bird stroke their back and they will tweet and they will repeat what you say and wings will light up too so that's why when i was talking she was repeating what i was saying and then the next one we've got the turtle little bird. the turtle the turtle's down Hi. here and we've got new shell designs release and they swim in water and walk on land yeah there you go now. and then you've got little dip little dip little dippers which is what you've got going on here um come to life in water and you can feed them you're not supposed to eat her so where's the little dip dipper hallie uh the little dipper she's okay got so we've got another one here okay. so we've got little dippers and it says come to life um in water and you can feed them wonderful and then the chameleon new nova she's here somewhere where's the chameleon there she, oh she's so pretty i think she's my favorite pull her tail again new nova that changes color with her mood and interacts with you so she's okay. like a mood chameleon hello hello and then last but not least oh. petals our sleepy petals. friend with 25 sounds and reactions and one there of we them go. I can show you right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so. oh, look, the light on the hatch has stopped lighting up. Right, 
Oh, right. Yes, yeah, so let's see. The light has gone off. We're going to turn it towards us because I think something special yes. is going to happen. <gasps> Open up the cage. What is that? <gasps> oh, my gosh. It's a baby. baby. Yay. Yeah, so baby. There is a little baby there, isn't there? And I think, Harper, if you go inside, oh. there's something else. What's in Let's there? See. There's a little Oh, package. A little oh with like accessories for her. Yeah, okay, do you know what? I think we should introduce her to all her little um, live pets friends. If we get into a like little picnic right. and sit them all down together, yes. yeah? Will that be nice? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. So we've got our little picnic going on with yes. all of our little live pets here. And oh, Houston's got hers in her hand. Okay, thank you, Hosan. You've been getting them all to work turtle. for us. Oh, there we go. Oh, so cute. Back. Yeah, I know. It's so nice, right? Oh, look at it go. And we got to introduce the baby to everybody. Okay, so right. Because there's been a baby born. Yay! Aww. Okay, you can come and say hello to all your friends. Right. Should we get Mama back out of the cage? Because yeah. surely she wants to be with everybody else. And also, to be honest, guys, you know what? I think as we introduce her, I'm good, we can maybe, I don't know if there might be some more babies that might come up, but if we keep loving, if you get the um if you get the mama guinea pig and you continue to brush her and love yeah, her, okay. look, you can you can get yeah, I think to have some more babies if we're gonna have a little picnic and we all just wait and see Yay! what happens. I'm so happy. <laughs> so Hallie, I think if you continue to love her, she will start glowing eventually. Yeah. But we're gonna have to put her in her cage. Oh there we go, she's off glowing again. If we put her in her cage again, I think she'll have more babies. And you can just repeat the process and repeat the process and she will have up to about three babies. She will. Oh that is so cute yes she's in there again and to be honest you can have there's a couple of different modes so before it took about 10 minutes if we switch it on the back to the other mode it will take a little bit longer there's a switch on the back there and it will take 10 hours overnight okay for her yeah. to have babies okay but guys do you think that sisters are the best thing in the world yes yes they are and do you think that sisters will go through ups and downs yes but is it okay yes and how do you work through those ups and downs you talk together um, and you just love each other yes they you go that's correct all right so guys thank you grimway gang for joining us today again on another video and we look forward to seeing you again on the next one take care love you bye